about the advantages of fiber optometry. In general, the implanted fiber optic probe is small and flexible, resulting in minimal tissue damage and allows recording from multiple brain regions. Due to its principle, detection of fluorescence with low intestine excitation light, thus reducing the chance of photo bleaching, and extends recording time. In addition to green fluorescence probes, red fluorescence probes have also been gradually developed. The two probes can be used to label different types of neurons, which is very helpful for the study of neuronal circuits. This is our vertricolor multi-channel fiber photometry system. The overall appearance of the machine is very small and easy to use. First, connect the adapter and the power supply of the machine and the computer. Then select the, the USB-3 cable to connect the USB-3 interface on the back of the machine to the USB-3 port of the computer. Then we connect the behavior camera included in the system and install it to the complementary bucket. The behavior camera can be connected directly to the computer. Small knobs on the camera can be used to adjust exposure and focus. Finally, connect the software key. The overall wiring connection is done. We connect the optic fiber, then turn on the power switch. Now we can record the experiment. Open the software. The system will automatically test all the line connections. No connection problems. The software automatically enter the acquisition page. First we set the experimental need for excitation light power. Directly through the software can be adjusted. Commonly used power between 2050 microwatts, when the signal is weak, can be appropriate to improve the power range, according to the purpose of the experiment, to select the corresponding excitation light combination mode. In addition to the normal recording mode, sequential recording mode is mainly used for long-time experiments. We can set the recording time and period, so as to avoid the maximum extent of photo bleaching effect. The second step into the channel settings. First select the recording frame rate. The recommended parameters for 41 to 0 fps, the most commonly used for 60 fps, and then the exposure and gain adjustment to the maximum. You can adjust the focal length through the focus ring on the front of the machine, so that the fiber imaging more clearly. Then adjust the channel ROI diameter until the same size as the fiber in face. Then switch to the 560 nanometers acquisition window. Repeat the above operation. Be sure to remember to adjust the gain to the minimum. After the adjustment is completed, or too high gain will reduce the signal to noise ratio. Save the parameters to enter the event marker settings page. Event marker function is basically the same as R810. First, the system can accept TTL signal input from external devices and present the TTL signal input as event marker in the signal acquisition window. We can select the corresponding channel and the color of the marker. Second, manual marking, directly naming the event name. You can also select the channel of the marker, custom marker color, marking hotkeys, etc. Third, the system can output TTL signal to trigger external devices. Through the software can choose the output conditions. You can choose to start recording on the output signal, or signal DF grow to a certain amplitude, and then output TTL signal. When these parameters are set, you can directly click preview for pre-experiment testing. In preview mode, all parameters can be freely modified to achieve the best test results. 
We suggest to preview 5-10 minutes before the experiment. Then connect the fiber to the animal's ceramic ferrules, and you can record. On the right side of the behavior video recording screen, click plus to add the connected USB camera. The software supports connecting three USB cameras at the same time. The first video must be connected to the system's standard camera, as well as track ROI area settings, etc. The standard camera can be set directly via the software, for frame rate, resolution, gain and other parameters. Video 1 and Video 2 can be connected to other USB cameras for video recording. Now we connect the fiber to the animal. After the preview, the signal can be recorded by clicking on the record icon. The fluorescent signals corresponding to different excitation lights are independent of each other, and each fluorescence value can be adjusted individually for the range of axes. Manual marking can be done by keyboard hotkeys or by clicking on the icons directly under the software window. The presentation of data can be selected as raw data or changed to delta F display by clicking trace and the basis of DF calculation can be selected by the F0 next to it. Click stop to stop recording. When the experimental recordings are finished, we need to analyze the recorded data. Click analysis to enter the analysis page. Video data and fluorescence data can be imported simultaneously. The software also supports importing videos recorded by other software in MP4 format. Firstly, the software will analyze the information about the data, such as the recorded frame rate, excitation light pattern, etc. Then you can choose to clip the data. The data crop can be modified by the coordinate range in the upper right corner and the length of time to be kept. Clicking on Save and Import will save the crop data and video and re-import them to the analysis page. The data pre-processing can be done by selecting Baseline Correction, Smoothing, Motion Correction, and the change of data under different processing can be viewed by clicking trace and the processed data can be saved to CSV file separately. The peak statistics function can be used to identify the valid peaks by the software so as to get the statistical information of the valid peaks. First, set the search interval and the mad time interval. Then set the threshold range, identify the statistical results. And the software can perform the calculation. In addition, the statistical results can be exported to CSV format, and the file contains the valid information of each peak. After data pre-processing, enter the event analysis module. You can select or add event markers according to the behavior video. Modify the event interval for event mapping. Directly generate heat maps and graphs, and all the images can be saved. After event analysis, the data can be saved as CSV files for the next step of intergroup analysis.
For intergroup analysis, you need to import the trail data after event analysis and click on the plot to generate intergroup comparative fluorescence heat map and curve. The image related axes, reference lines, and color intervals can be adjusted manually, and the DF processing results and Z score processing results can be saved in SVG format, which can be opened in other image processing software. In the AUC analysis session, we can set the AUC time range, and then the software will directly calculate the AUC analysis results. We can choose to display the AUC analysis time interval inside the image. Likewise, the AUC analysis results can be saved as CSV files. In the animal trajectory analysis function, we directly import a set of trajectory data, and after importing the data, the software will automatically generate the trajectory heat map and trajectory map. The track heat map can choose different background colors, and the track map can import pictures as background. We can choose to show the ROI area. And the software will also calculate the duration of the animal in the ROI area 